was a job, I heard this joke a long time ago. There was a job being advertised in India. And being India, uh, so many people, and may the Lord Jesus bless the people of India and every nation. And may the Lord Jesus enlighten their hearts, their souls, to realize where the truth is and who the truth is. So this job was advertised in India. So uh, being India, uh, over a billion, point, one point maybe four billion people, 500 people applied for that job. Out of those 500, there was two best buddies, two best friends. They went for the interview. They applied for the same job. So anyway, a time came, one of, the, one of the friends walks in into that room to be interviewed. So the interviewer began asking uh, the question. By the way, um, the, the irony of this joke is what happens when you tell only half the truth? What happens when you tell half the truth only? So anyway, the interviewer be, uh, begins asking that man uh, the questions. He said, he said uh, when did India f uh, get uh, its independence? He said, well, many, many things happened. A lot of, thi a lot of things took place. And eventually in 1947, he said, well done. He said, who was the founding father of India? He said, well, it is not fair to mention, uh, it, is not, it is not fair um, um, to mention one father because there were many fathers. So who was the founding father of India? He said, it's not fair to mention one father because there were many fathers. He said, what a profound answer. He said, uh, how was the India's economic crisis being rectified and solved? He said, well, the Prime Minister of India established a committee. They analyzed the situation and then rectified and solved the problem. He said, you know what? Your answers are absolutely perfect and, and, and absolutely 100% to the, to the core. Thank you so much. You have, you have passed your exam. However, before I let you walk out of this room, I want you to promise me one thing. I will be asking the same three questions to all those 499 people waiting outside. You promise me that when you go out, if anyone comes and asks you what were the questions, do not tell them the questions. Will you promise? He said, I promise, sir. I will promise you. Acha, acha. So he walks out. His best friend, more than brothers, runs to him. He said, brother, tell me what were the questions? He said, I cannot tell you. He said, please, I'm your best buddy. I'm your best friend. He said, excuse me. I told, I promised the guy inside, I'm not going to tell no question to nobody. So he begged his friend to tell him the, the questions with no prevail. Eventually, this guy got fed up with the questioning friend of his. He said, listen, if I tell you what the answers are, will you let go of me? He said, okay. So he said, here are the answers. He said, the first answer is, many, many things happened. A lot of things took place eventually in 1947. The second answer is, it is not fair to mention one father because there were many fathers. And the third answer would be, uh, the prime minister established a committee and, and, and solved the problem. Thank you very much. The, the second friend walks in to be interviewed. The interviewer is going through his application as he walked in and sat down. He realized there were few things wrong and few things missing in this guy's application form. So he said, um, what is your date of birth? When were you born? I, I don't see it on your application. He said, well, many, many things happened. A lot of things took place eventually in 1947. He said, what is your father's name? <laughs> He said, it is not fair to mention one father because I had many fathers. <laughs> he said, your application needs fixing. He said, don't worry, sir. The prime minister established a committee and they have fixed the problem. What happens when you tell half the truth? I and may the Lord Jesus bless you and guide you and protect you and deliver you from being put in a position where you have to give half the truth. May the whole truth be said 
and nothing but the truth. Half the truth is evil. Half the truth is deception. Half the truth is blindness. The whole truth. The light of the world and the sun of righteousness and the healings in its wings. Jesus Christ is the full truth. Amen.